I'm Debbie Dye. I'm the oncology social worker with Maryland Oncology and Hematology. I am originally from Virginia and have lived in the Maryland area for the better part of my life. Um, I have been an oncology social worker. I've been a social worker for about 20 years and became an oncology social worker about five years ago. So as part of the care team uh, at Maryland Oncology, I get the opportunity to connect directly with the patients and with their physicians. So that's a lovely opportunity for me to kind of um, explore not only what's happening with them medically, what their treatment plan looks like, but also then opens a uh, gateway to conversations that are a little deeper, a little more real. Um, and sometimes that is exploring community resources, additional supports, um, advanced care planning, some topics that maybe the physician doesn't address in, the, um, in an exam room, but that we can talk about collectively. And I feel like that's of tremendous value when a patient knows that the physician and the clinician are collaborating to best support their needs and are really listening to what they need um, and responding to that. So I think that's a wonderful um, part of our program. Another great piece about my role here as the oncology social worker is the opportunity to really highlight and nurture uh, the mental health in the community. Everyone could use a counselor. Everybody needs someone to talk to. And, and even if you have the, the best family, the best friend network, there is a difference in speaking with a clinician. So as a patient, one of the tremendous opportunities that you have here is that we are all one team. So you have access to your oncologist, you have access to a nurse navigator, the infusion nurses, um, triage nurses, and of course the, the oncology social worker for that extra layer of support and that collaboration is just essential in quality care um, to our community, to our patients who mean everything to us.